the party has to go on. Now, irrespective of irrespective of whatever challenges, or even sometimes, sometimes some of the uh, some I would say are the unprecedented acid tests or litmus tests that uh, certain leaders, including myself, have to bear with. So I think the, uh, we have to soldier on. And uh, whoever, now whoever taking over the party, or whoever going to lead the party, he or she must always be, must always be reform-minded. We need to keep abreast with the changing times before it's too late. We need to transform. We need to change for good. And we need to feel the pulse of the nation, of the people. Actually, when I, me and my colleagues, embark on certain initiatives, and uh, as I said earlier, 12 months or less is far too short for any agenda for change, agenda for reform, you know, to produce the results. I think that is widely understood. And uh, even if, even if, you now the party has to undergo, say for instance, a fresh poll, like what it is going to take place on the 28th of March, the reform agenda has to go on. And uh, certainly, I would consider very seriously now the various input and also the text messages, emails, even the Facebook fans, you know, they, uh, I must say that I'm deep, deeply touched by their input, their calls, for me to seriously consider, consider to contest again. So, I mean, so far I could only tell you exactly now what has been taking place. I cannot foretell something uh, yet to happen. Okay, so far I think this has been uh, taking place in the past, in the past uh, 48 hours from all over. Even uh, the emails, I, I'm still clearing uh, some of the emails and uh, even the Facebook uh, polls and uh, fans or whatever. I, in fact, I did, when I said that I did, uh, I did some soul searching as well as uh, stock taking. And, uh, and today, definitely, now we need to take a hard look at what we managed to do so far, especially when I talk about the various initiatives. And that's why I enumerated now some of the initiatives already been done, or perhaps half done. And also, we need to soldier on. We need to soldier on, of course, then it is only natural for me to, uh, you know, to offer my thoughts and my service when time is appropriate. But uh, I, I won't stop. I won't just, uh, you know, simply stop at, uh, you know, making announcement that I'm going to contest or I'm not going to contest. It's not that. That's why I say that it's not the, the, it's not a matter of the position, matter of position whether you know, someone is going to contest or not, but rather, contest for what? Contest for what? And uh, I. Once again, I must thank now all those well wishers and the delegates, especially now who who managed to attend. I say they managed to attend the assembly today. Now, despite the kind of uh, uh, challenges that they need to challenges or even hurdles that they need to cross. So I'm indeed I'm indeed appreciative of their commitment. Oh, it's not that I make up my mind, but uh, but I would say that now I would say that uh, the uh, the 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 input or rather the feedback from the ground is still flowing in, and on top of that, that even until yesterday and day before, when everybody was focusing on uh, the so-called breaking news, 
especially on the mass uh, uh, resignation or whatnot. Now, in fact, we were then still doing work, you know, for instance, like what you, you yourself might have attended, the SME, the SME do, the SME, uh, you know, the, uh, the seminar and also the, uh, the exhibition was still taking place here. We were still busy with that. You see that? Well, in fact, uh, just just very briefly, whoever, so and so and so so and so, uh, whoever it, it could be, uh, it could be anybody. Now, having uh, having done this or that, teaming up, horse trading, or whatever. Well, now we understand that uh, in uh, in the run up to any party election or any election, well, things like that, that would certainly. Uh, capture the imagination, or maybe make uh, certainly these are the uh, potential headlines. Okay. Oh well, I I don't know about the the past. I don't know about the uh, the what uh, took place in the past in the 60s or even earlier. I wouldn't know. But then of course uh, today, as I said earlier, now the uh, we would love to have our uh, BN president uh, to uh, to grace the occasion. But since uh, uh, this did not come true, of course, as I put it very clearly in my speech, that uh, we still need to fulfill our obligations, because we wouldn't want to see that uh, we w wouldn't want to see that uh, the AGM be deferred for the third time, and also at the same time, the the CC, because following the uh, resignation, uh, the mass resignation. Then you must understand that the CC now, in fact, now could only administer, could only administer. Now, what had been decided earlier, you cannot reverse the decision. You see that people must understand, you know, the the catchy part eh, of uh, the party constitution. If today, say, say for instance, if you were to reverse the decision, or we say that okay, we we call off the the AGM. We don't. We simply we don't have the power because you are left with left with one third. You you cannot do that. Outsiders wouldn't understand. They say that why can't you do it and that no, because we need to abide by the party constitution. And of course we do it not unilaterally. That was done after long deliberation, and also at the same time to play safe, we did consult even some independent uh, lawyers in the town. We, we did all this in order to, to make sure that we get it right. But we mean no malice to anybody.